السلام علیکم دس از ریڈیو سدا حریت جموں کشمیر آئی ایم ابن سلام وتھ کشمیر اپڈیٹ ان انڈین الیگلی آکیوپائڈ جموں اینڈ کشمیر دا آل پارٹیز حریت کانفرنس اینڈ ادر حریت لیڈرس اینڈ آرگنائزیشن ہیو کنڈیم دا فورسبل ایوکشن آف لوکل کشمیریز فرام دیئر اینسسٹرل لینڈ بائی مین ان یونیفارم انڈر دا ایکسپینشنسٹ پالیسی آف مودی لیڈ فیسٹ انڈین گورنمنٹ اکارڈنگ ٹو کشمیر میڈیا سروس آل پارٹیز حریت کانفرنس چیف آرگنائزر چودھری شاہین اقبال ان اسٹیٹمنٹ ایشوڈ ان سری نگر سیڈ دیٹ دا ریسنٹ آپریشن اگینسٹ دا گجر اینڈ بکروال کمیونٹیز ان شوپیاں ہائٹس اینڈ ایڈجسٹ ایریاز واز پارٹ آف مودی رجیم سنسٹر ایجنڈا ٹو چینج دا ڈیموگرافی آف دا ٹیریٹری He urged the United Nations to prevent India from fiddling with the demography of disputed Jammu and Kashmir. Hurriyat leaders Khwaja Firdos and Akivani in their statement said that India was using inhuman tactics to suppress the Kashmir's freedom movement. Akivani said that the Gujars and Bakarwals were being victimized because of their religion. Jammu and Kashmir Muslim Conference Chairman Shabir Ahmad and Hurriyat leader Javed Ahmad Mir urged the international community to come forward for the safety of Kashmiri detainees amid the looming threat of deadly Indian variant of coronavirus. Jammu and Kashmir National Front and Jammu and Kashmir Social and Justice League demanded stern action against India for illegal detentions, denial of fundamental rights and gross human rights violations by its forces in the territory. Despite the alarm raised by Hurriyat organizations and civil society, the occupational authorities continue to put the lives of the local people in grave danger by allowing the Indians in large numbers to enter the occupied territory. Questions are being raised that when India is facing the devastation of its own variant of COVID virus and Kashmiris have been forced to stay indoors in the name of same COVID, how can such large number of people can be allowed to travel without having a nefarious design behind it? Meanwhile, all family members of renowned liberation leader Mushtaq Ahmad Zargar have been subjected to enforced disappearance or detained in jails. Mushtaq Zargar's sister, Afroza, told media that the family is forced to depend on the neighbors for daily needs following the lone bread earner Zuhur Ahmad Zargar was forcibly taken away by the police last month from Nauhata area of Srinagar. The High Court has quashed the illegal detention of Jammu and Kashmir Muslim League leader Farooq Ahmad Tawhidi booked under the Black Law Public Safety Act and asked the authorities to release him forthwith. However, he was not released till last reports came in. On the other hand, as against Modi government's claim, a report released by the World Health Organization has confirmed that the Indian variant of coronavirus first detected in India has now been officially recorded in 53 territories in the world. The report has come in the wake of Modi government's crackdown on social media networking sites and their users to prevent the spread of the news about the deadly super-spread Indian variant of COVID-19. Social media network WhatsApp, owned by Facebook, has even moved the Delhi High Court to declare that the new social media rules adopted by the Modi government are in violation of privacy rights of the country's constitution. And this is for now. Have a good night and keep listening to Radio Sadae Huriyadi Jammu Kashmir.